We got Jake Ellenberger here at Glendale Fighting Club. Jake, tell us what brings you out. Man, I've just been working a lot with Edmund. He's, uh, he's been a game changer for me. Good energy, good people. You know, I, I, I met him with uh, with Ronald down at the Gracie Academy, and, and we just became good friends. We had a, uh, we just couldn't have a connection. You know? Tell me what you appreciate most about his style of coaching. You know, uh, with Edmund, he, he's really no nonsense. You know, he's going to tell you what you're doing right, and he's going to tell you what you're doing wrong. And I think, as far as a coaching perspective, um, you know, you want to know what you're doing wrong and and fix it. So I, I really appreciate about Edmund, um, just good energy. You know, he, he's a and in my mind, he's probably one of the one of the smartest guys in, in combat sports. I feel like he uh, it was unjust that he didn't get nominated for Coach of the Year. Now that you've worked for it with him, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I don't even. Uh, I'm not. I'm surprised he's not really more uh, more well known. I guess in the but you know he he's got world champion boxers, he's got world champion MMA, so it's a phenomenal guy. But the best thing too is is he's not just one of those coaches who's like. It's not about him. He, he likes to help people, and he, and he wants to. And if he likes you, you know, he wants to help you get better. So yeah, I appreciate it about him. Now, as nice as a guy as he is, uh, it doesn't surprise you that he's such a killer in the ring, right? Not at all. Not at all. He, he flips the switch even when he's, he's when he's training guys. He's, he turn, You know, he has a, he has a little switch. You can tell he he gets into it. He's he's passionate about it. Speaking of switch, we've had a switch in opponents for you. Uh, Safadine's out. Lawler's the new opponent. Give yeah. your thoughts on the matchup and how excited you are for it. You know, it's uh, I'm stoked. It's you know, it's it's another uh, it's a top guy. You know what I mean? I'm I'm, I'm not really wasting any time, and, and uh, it's, it's still a, it's a southpaw, similar guy, a little different. Uh, I think a lot of people kind of give Robbie a little too much respect, but you know, in this sport, you can't you can't fight like that. You know what I mean? So it's a uh, it's a great matchup, a great fight. Um, I've I've known Robbie for a long time too. So he's, personally, uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we one of the first guys I actually uh, I trained with back in like 2005 at at, uh, at Pat Milton's gym. But uh, nice guy. He, he's uh, he's been a pioneer of the sport for sure. What's it like for you uh, fighting a guy that you you somewhat know? You know, uh, there's mutual respect there. You know, at the end of the day, it's business. We got to fight. So he's he probably he's gonna view it the same way. He's gonna try to he's gonna try to knock me out. I'm gonna try to knock him out. So what'd you think against uh, uh, what'd you think about his fight against uh, Johnny Hendricks? You know, it was, it was kind of a, in a way, it was kind of disappointing. You know, they, they were both, they, they both weren't like on their A game, it looked like, but it was, you know, it was an exciting back and forth fight. Um, I think he could have won the fight. He, he kind of, he kind of gave it to him in the fifth a little bit, but uh, Johnny had an off night and, and, he, and he still was able to come away with the title, but uh, it, it was, uh, yeah, I learned a lot from him in that fight. Did you have it two rounds apiece going into the fifth? I did. I did. I, it, it was close enough. Where it was probably two to two in the fifth, um, yeah, and Dana had the same way. And then in the fifth, it was kind of like Robbie. Yeah, both guys were kind of like it wasn't really looking to finish. It was kind of to win the round, but not take down really sealed the deal. Well, you had the best seat in the house that night, <laughs> right next to Dana. Did yeah, you see yeah. anything that uh, live that maybe you didn't see on TV? Did you, did you have a chance to go back and watch the fight on TV? I did. You know, it, it, when you're cage side, it's not always the best seat. Um, I had to go back and watch it on TV, but. They were they were standing. Uh, there was a lot more I saw from watching it on TV than, than when I was, you know, right there. But uh, you know, both both top guys for sure. And a win over Robbie does that put you next in line? Do you feel like automatically? Um, you know, I, I don't really. To be honest, I'm not really even thinking about that. It's it's a big, uh, you know, it's a big fight. I'm just just really focused on Robbie. And what else have you been working on to help prepare for uh, Robbie since the switch? Um, really just a lot of strategy, a lot of, uh, more specifically, just, just getting faster, my speed and, and, and footwork. All right, Jake, is there anything you want to tell the readers before we let you go? No, uh, May 24th, MGM Grand. Don't miss it. All right, thanks for taking the time, boss. Thanks.